When we get the beans, uh, we take them and we'll drop them in our roaster at about between 350 and 400 degrees. And uh, we'll cook them really hot, really fast. We'll have this nice steep curve, so there's lots of air coming through, lots of heat. And uh, that, that in turn drives the moisture out, and then we continue processing it until it's right to the roast level that's just perfect for it. Um, and that takes about 11 to 13 minutes, depending on the bean. And once it gets to the right heat point and the right roast level, uh, we drop it into the cooling tray and cool it, cool it down within 90 seconds. So what's cool is we use a fluid bed roaster, and uh, it's a lot different than a drum roaster. Uh, so instead of a drum that rotates around uh, horizontally, uh, we're creating an airflow that's vertical. Um, so it, it does a few things that are really good. Um, it's fully electric, and it's about uh, approximately 80% more efficient than a drum roaster. So we're using less energy to roast our coffee. What's also really cool is that uh, with the increased airflow, one of the things that happens when you're roasting coffee is that um, a little piece of skin comes off the beans once they heat up, and that's called chaff. And what happens to that chaff, uh, if it's in a drum roaster, is it starts to burn and create a lot of carcinogens, uh, which is really unnecessary, it's really not good for you, but you don't want that going into your coffee. Uh, and so our roaster is really great at sweeping those, that chaff, sucking it right up our exhaust system. Um, so that none of that gets in your cup. The quality you put in is going to determine the quality you get out of it. So if you're using a bad coffee, even if you use a great grinder, a great brewing technique, uh, it's still going to be bad coffee. So you have to start with good coffee. That's why we work with lots that are, we work with coffees that are generally, um, if they're estates, they'll be a thousand members or less. We like to do a lot of single origins with small producers where there's only 12 or 15 bags in the lot. Um, these really nice cared for coffees. So we start with that and then we move on to um, being roasted and being nice and fresh. A lot of people don't know that your coffee goes stale after about six to seven weeks. And the peak freshness is when, within the first three weeks. So having a fresh batch of coffee is gonna make an incredible difference. So we have good coffee, we have good fresh coffee, and then we bring in water. You wanna have a decent pH water. You wanna try to filter out things like chlorine or fluoride. There's different things that just get added to your treatment process. Those will all pass themselves through into your cup of coffee. And so if you can get a good bottled water or just pass it through a carbon filter, you know, at the very minimum, that'll give you kind of a good place to start for some good water that'll help your coffee be nice and smooth. Um, it'll help bring out the clarity and all the flavors that you get from your, from your good coffee. And then after that, it's, it's just playing with uh, water temperature and your grind size and what you're making coffee in.